back to a new video. Today's video is going to be just a simple Q&A. I have been wanting to do one of these for quite a while. So it's eventually here. But let's just get straight into the video. So guys, so the first question is this. And I am 21. Just turned 21 a month ago. So yeah. Next one. And to answer your question to this is, I'm dealing with it quite well. I would thought I would deal with it worse. Well, not really bad, but like overthink it more. But I'm actually doing quite well. But before lockdown, I did go out quite a lot. Like I went to my job, of course, and I did go shopping a lot. So I thought I would like deal with it worse. But YouTube has really helped me create content and film and upload. Is helping me quite a lot to stay busy so yeah that is how I am dealing with it next question is that one and yes I do have sibling I've only got one and it's a sister but yeah next one what what's your favorite place to visit I have visited loads of places when I was a kid so I don't remember most of them but I do have little memory of every little thing. So I don't really have a favourite place I visit. But I have little favourite things about the places. Like I've lived in Germany. I like the Love Heart Cookie. And like stuff like that. But my most favourite place because most of my friends are there. I would say is Downton. If you don't know where that is. It's like an hour away from Newcastle in the UK. But yeah next one is this one the least favorite candy or sweet i don't really have a fa least favorite sweet or candy honestly i do like lots of sweets and candy whatever you want to call them but i just don't have them that rare so reality i don't really have not a favorite candy but yeah you might find one in the future. Next one is favourite fast food place. I've got loads and loads of fast food places I love. Like Nando's is a good one. And all that. But like, well that's more a restaurant. But most people would say McDonald's. But well, personally, I mean, I would say Burger King. I just love it. Like fries or chips, and their burgers are better than McDonald's. Sorry if you like McDonald's. I do have McDonald's more often, but I prefer a burger king. But yeah. Next one is any holidays. If you mean any holidays planned, not at the moment. I don't really go on holidays, and if I do, it's with my family or I have went with like my friends and that before but not any holidays planned in the future as I know of but yeah next one I'm trying to find what one I'm on <laughs> is happiest moment again I don't really I have loads of happiest moments but the number one I would say is the multiple one but just experiences of concert and all that, that I've went to as many concerts as, as I have but I don't have an exact happiest moment I have like probably sad moments I remember but not happier I guess that's good because that means I have more happy moments than sad moments but I don't have a specific one that turns out but yeah Next one, most embarrassing moment. I don't know if I have one. <laughs> I like do little silly things. Like I have some songs what are like embarrassing to play in public. Not that they're bad, but like just songs you would not play out loud. But I'm the type of person that I rarely get embarrassed. Like I'm a proper open book, so I rarely get embarrassed. So yeah, that's the only embarrassing thing that 
sometimes if I'm not feeling as open-minded or like careless I would be embarrassed if I was playing a song in public without my headphones but yeah next one is your favorite book honestly if I'm being honest I don't have a favorite book I have loads of books loads and loads but I never read them like last night I was thinking when I was falling asleep I should actually start reading more next again day I spend all day on social media probably filming doing workout and I will say that is productive but I just want to get into reading more I do want to read the Stephen Barker book I can't remember the actual title but I have got that book and I've got the Kissing Booth book one and two and I really want to read I've seen the movie one the number one but number two is coming out soon on Netflix and I really want to read it before it comes out it's coming out in July so I'm so excited for that to happen but yeah I want to read them before that happens like the movie comes out next one do you have a career yes I do kind of partially like I did have a job but it's like a complicated thing like I didn't get fired but my job was like paid from another government thing and all that stuff that you can do now by governments and all that but I was on one of them schemes but now I just volunteer in the shop that I was working in and getting paid for but yeah right now I class this as my job because I'm not doing my actual job at the moment if you class that as a job most people would say I'm volunteering now but I still say I'm going to work but yeah that was that one if I didn't show you but next one and last and final one is what inspired you to start YouTube now there's many reasons to this question many 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 now first main one is just I've seen and watched loads of youtubers the typical ones Stephen Barker Anastasia Kate like I forgot the name Casey's like family and Fizz Fam all them like popular youtubers Zoella, Alfie all them ones that you know and I've just always had before I started YouTube in my mind what will it feel like to start a YouTube what will it feel like seeing the growth of my YouTube grow what will it feel like filming and creating and when I was thinking about that I was like this would be amazing i would love it and i do love it so i'm glad i started it but that is the main reason is i saw people i kind of look up to doing youtube wanting to create content like this but in my own way and i just love creating content and another reason now is I want to like help people out. I want to like inspire people to create content. I want to inspire people to do stuff with their fashion and beauty and just everything. I just want to inspire people and that's why I started. But I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get into the outro. Did you like it? Did you like it? Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's just a quick video and probably a random one but I wanted to do this for quite a while and you kind of got to know me a little bit more if you want to get to know me a little bit more than this I'll leave that thing up there what is 10 facts or 5 facts I think about me personally I think these are really good videos on getting to know the creator that you are watching or the influencer if you would call me that I would wouldn't call myself that right now because I'm not that big but yeah 
that video is right there if you want to check that one out and yeah hope you enjoyed don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below i always forget what side it's on but comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to watch more of my content there will be two video well one playlist playlist of my fashion and one video suggested for you my viewers so hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye